it's just way too obvious. I mean, way too obvious. About how full of shit religion is. Aside from Christianity, that, uh, which I made a point, Judaism, with a lot of their flaws, and Islam, especially the so-called father figure, or this, I should say, great man, Muhammad. Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. Some of the things that I found out and I actually talked to some people on it, not very many, but a few people here and there, and even on some of the documentaries and videos that I've seen concerning about Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, how they make him to look like this very important, very righteous man. And of course, that guy is basically full of shit. He was a mighty prophet, they say, and this and that, and all this kind of stuff they were saying about him. But he was pretty much a, um, a very violent, warlike person. He wasn't exactly a moral person. He was no different than a lot of these two-faced type of self-righteous, this type of um, idol that, or not, not idol, but this uh, person that uh, people will look up to. He was no different than uh, Elijah Muhammad with with uh, his lame excuse of why he would have sex with all these women because, you know, whatever stupid excuse he would make and when Malcolm X was exposing him as a pervert. And of course him getting in trouble for that. Now the Prophet Muhammad is just way too evident, way too way too obvious that he was actually a sick pedophile. But using religion and their customs of how marrying a child is considered to be acceptable. Aisha was the uh, six-year-old girl that he married and they would say some very stupid type of uh, reasons why that would happen or why it happened. This is just, this is just sickening and how they actually would use this as an excuse to make it seem that it's okay when in reality it's not. An arranged marriage with him and his six-year-old girl. Now to think, did he never molested her? Did he was a sex addict, a pervert, 
to think that he's not like that is very ignorant. And a lot of these things right here, in which if you take a good look, Muhammad was 51 with his favorite child bride, Aisha, age six. He would take a bath with her, with a little girl, and fondled her. And it says here, and then right here, Muhammad deflowered pre. I mean, look at this. 54 years old and she was nine. And here, this is like, from what I, from what I heard from certain sources, now people can believe whatever they want. They could argue whatever they want. Like again, I'm not going to pretty much get into a debate on whether or not the Quran actually condones it. People, some people could say, well, it's been misinterpreted. Well, I don't know if it's really a misinterpretation. But I've been hearing already from certain sources that it's an Islam rape, marriage, and, di and divorce. I mean, look, the Quran says here, 65.4. Now, for those of you who think that he had a good excuse, which I don't think he did. I don't necessarily think he had a good excuse. It's way too evident that this man was very sick. And for someone to even defend him, it's, I can't even find the words right now to even explain how I feel about this. I mean, this is really, really fucked up. There's no excuse for this. There is absolutely no excuse. I think, in my honest opinion, there's, that there's actually certain things that people are not talking about. And... It's something that I think a lot of people, especially women, that either want to say something, but they can't. They come from very strict families. And even when the documentary uh, that Bill Morrow actually did, on which uh, about uh, Muslims and about... Uh, their customs and their beliefs. That if you say anything bad about them, that they will actually go as far as to come after you or whatever, death threats and 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 why should it, why should something like this, this particular subject, be any different? It really shouldn't be any different. People are just putting so much faith in bullshit. Even the Bible, even the regular Bible, I mean, uh, it, there's, there's a lot of that bullshit, there's a lot of that crap also. So it's really no different how people use religion to justify their sick, perverted appetites. Who in the fuck would want to think that it's okay? It's not okay. I mean, the, the the lame excuses that they're using is just basically what it is. It's lame. <sighs> well, it, it's not that I want to get overzealous and criticizing this thing. I'm trying hard not to, but it's just way too obvious that there's just so much bullshit excuses that people make for something like this. When a man 
who's middle-aged, marries a, a woman uh, that's younger than him. It pretty much tells you a lot, but then when they marry a child who's not even in her pre-teens, who's younger than 13 years old, I mean, there's no more than that needs to be said. Now, I'm not saying this to get people angry or to uh, offend Muslims. I know there's Muslims out there that are that really care about right and wrong. They practice it and this and that. But there's also a lot of sick people. There's a lot of uh, hypocrites. There's a lot of people who actually... Um, take advantage for their own for their own type of agendas there's a lot of religious fundamentalists from any religion it doesn't matter not not just this but anything any other any kind of a, other religion there's no excuse for this whatsoever none if you like this video give it a thumbs up Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.